The debate over gun control is front and center, and the tone seems to be changing. Yeah, lawmakers on both sides are saying it's time to act. Today, Governor Gary Herbert is weighing in. It's the rally cry being heard around the country. People are taking to the streets, calling on lawmakers to do something in the wake of the most recent mass shootings. Governor Herbert addressing the issue at his monthly news conference. But I think we need to take some action and do some things. The governor says the state has worked closely with schools to find solutions since the Parkland, Florida shooting. He supports the president's ban on bump stocks and says there are more options to consider. But, uh, you know, what we do as far as background checks, uh, what we are doing with the maybe age limits on, on how old you have to be to be able to purchase outright a, a gun, uh, the mental health aspects. Democrats say this kind of talk from Republicans gives them hope some meaningful steps can be taken. Representative Joe Briscoe plans to reintroduce his bill to create an open carry buffer zone around schools. We can preserve people's rights to weapons while also preserving public safety. I reject the notion that it's either or. Gun rights advocates aren't so sure. You know, we have to be careful about constitutional rights. The Second Amendment's there for a reason. Former State Representative Curtis Oda is watching the conversation closely. He says one step will lead to another. Let's face it, we, we know what their 50-year goal is. The, uh, their ultimate goal is total ban of firearms. And if Steve Handy plans to bring his red flag bill back for the next session, and Representative Brian King also plans to sponsor universal background checks again.